Hello, my name is Prince and today we are going to discuss how to set up SFRA using its official GitHub repository. In the last video, I have discussed how to set up the SFRA using Business Manager. You can watch that video, I have put the link in the description. Before proceeding further, please subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to get the regular updates from us. Now let's jump to the setup. Log in to your GitHub account and go to the setting of your profile. Here you will find an option password and authentication. Click on it. Here you need to verify that the two-factor authentication is being enabled or not. It is mandatory to enable the two-factor authentication to use the SFCC repositories. Once you have verified the two-factor authentication is being enabled, now open the storefront reference architecture repository. Here you will find the repository that is available for the SFR. You need to download this repository. Just download this repository. Once this repository is been downloaded, you need to unzip this repository and open the terminal. I am extracting this file here and I am opening terminal over it. We need to run some commands. The first command is npm install. This will install all the required npm packages and you can see that these packages will be downloaded under the node modules folder. You can see that one folder is created here and in this folder all the necessary packages will be downloaded. Just wait for the completion of this command. Once the npm install is completed, now we need to open this folder in the VS Code. I am opening this folder in the VS Code. You can use your favorite editor as well. Then we need to create dw.json file. I am creating dw.json file over here in the root directory of the project here we need to pass we need to uh, use hostname username password and code version and put these details inside the dw.json file here hostname is the same as your business manager URL next the username is same as your username the code version represents the code version that is you uh, that you are using inside the business manager for the password you need to obtain this password from your business manager just go to your business manager click on user profile here you will find that the access key section is there just click on manage access keys once this window is open you can find there is an option to generate the access key this access key will be used as a password in the tw.json file i am right now already created the access key so i am using the uh, same access key inside the dw.json file one thing to be noted here the access key should have the scope of web dev file access once the dw.json file is created save this file and run few more commands that is the first command will be npm run compile js this will compile all the client side javascript now we need to run one more command that is npm run compile scss 
this command will compile all the css and after this we are ready to upload the cartridge just wait for few seconds okay so the compilation of js and css is being done and now we need to type npm run upload cartridge this command will upload this cartridge to the business manager once the command completes the cartridge will be uploaded to the sfcc business manager now for this we need to go inside the code deployment and here inside the same code version that we have mentioned in the dw.json file we need to verify that the cartridge is uploaded or not here you can check all the cartridges available inside this version for this we need to search like this or we can use simply the cartridge name as well i'm using like app storefront base here you can see the cartridge is being uploaded successfully now the second step is to upload the storefront demo data for this we need to go to this url i have already mentioned all the uh, git urls in the video description you can find the urls over there and we need to download this zip also it will take some time to save the time i have already downloaded this zip and unzip this storefront data here once you open this folder there is a folder named demo data sfra we need to just zip this demo data sfra in the format demo data sfra.zip and we need to upload this zip file inside the site import export for this we need to go inside the business manager just open the business manager here you will see inside the site development there is a option site import and export just click on it and upload the file that you have created that is demo data sfr.zip once you have uploaded this file it should be available to import wait for few seconds it can take some time depending on your internet speed yes once the upload is completed you can find that file over the import section and you need to select that file and import that file to save the time i have already imported the uh, demo data because it takes at least 5 to 10 minutes so i have already completed this step once the zip file uh, that you have uploaded is successfully imported then the site should be available to use so select your site that is reference arc now open the storefront you can see that the site is loaded successfully that's it for this video we will cover more topics in the upcoming videos if you still have any doubts you can reach us at support@webcool.com thanks for watching this video and see you in the next one